So I actually had an event with Waitrose. I am a fan of a snow globe. Oh my gosh, how much are they? Christmas decor has been purchased. So these are the Christmas bits that we got. Oh, the Christmas lights are up. And there we are, that is four jars of apple and pear chutney. Hello everyone, good morning, how are we all doing? I hope you're all very well. Welcome back to my channel and to a little daily vlog. As you can tell by the title, it's just gonna be a very cozy, chill day in the flat. I'm gonna head into town and take a look at some Christmas things. It's just gonna be a really chill vlog and I just, I wanted to vlog today. I just woke up and I thought, I wanna pick up the camera, so yeah. Hi, <laughs> how are we all? Let me put the lights on. I feel like we need to warm this space up a little bit. That's better. I may have got a little bit excited and um, took some fairy lights out of the Christmas decoration box and put them in the fireplace to make it look like a fire. <laughs> um, yeah, but how are we all doing? Let me know how you are. Happy November. It's November 3rd when I'm filming this, November 2nd. Early November. I don't know where the year's gone. It's certainly got colder in London. I'm currently in our living room with a thick jumper shirt jacket thing on and yeah, it's getting colder so feels like winter is definitely coming but yeah how are we all doing let me know down below i'm 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 feeling good i'm feeling a lot better this week um i had a bit of overwhelm at the start of the week felt a bit like whoa gosh it's november things are going to get super busy but i need to channel that slight apprehension into excitement because busyness is always good keeps my mind distracted yeah, i had a lovely time uh at the weekend just gone we were celebrating zara's birthday hence well, we still got the happy birthday sign up in her cards. We had the best time in Wiltshire and in the Cotswolds and Bath. I'll link that vlog up top if you missed it. Just so lovely. Like, we both just came away and we were like, wow. It really gave us like an insight into just like where we find happiness. And I don't think I've ever felt that happiness since we were in the Cotswolds last time for my birthday. It was just so calm and safe. And it both just felt like we had a moment where we just thought, Wow, I felt like we both needed it, which was just super lovely. Uh, so yeah, thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed that. Um, I'm actually gonna be meeting Zara in town in about an hour, I need to get a wiggle on, and we're gonna go into John Lewis because they've launched their Christmas floor. I had the best day yesterday, let me grab some bits. So I actually had an event with Waitrose, so I thought I'd show you what um, we got to take away with us, and then we went to the John Lewis Christmas preview. So it was a very John Lewis Waitrose day, which was one of, it's always one of my best days. I love them. The team are so fab. So we went to the kind of like immersive cooking experience of the Waitrose Cook's Ingredients. I spoke about that before. Cook's Ingredients are kind of like, I'm not, this is not sponsored by the way, I just really want to show you guys. Kind of like premium quality ingredients, not for a premium price tag, so it can really elevate your dishes. So whereas you have like traditional salt, this is black truffle salt. Things like a Mediterranean style crust, which is gorgeous on veggies or meat if you eat it. Some other stunning things like this, chocolate and orange icing. And my all time favorite, which I'm so glad they've stocked me up on, the cacio e pepe sauce. This cacio e pepe sauce, which is literally translates to cheese and pepper sauce. Oh my gosh, honestly, had the best time. They gave us a little goodie bag to take away, so we've got some John Lewis Any Day tea towels, some nice new cup measures, which are very handy because mine had them for about seven years. They're on their best, they're a bit rusty. So these are good, they've come with a little holder. I love the Any Day range, and it's really quite affordable. Like they're four pounds, which I think is quite good for John Lewis. Some um, graters, so I can use those in the kitchen. Some boutini and a copy of the new Waitrose food magazine for November, which I'm gonna have a read through on the train into town. And then it was the John Lewis Christmas preview and the Christmas floor is open to the public. So if you are coming to London, definitely head to Oxford Street John Lewis because the Christmas floor is, oh, it's magic, it's on the third floor. So they gave us a little bag to take away. It was a really lovely day. Got some Lego, so I'm gonna give that to Zara's brother. 
Um, we have a little cocktail kit. I had an espresso martini last night, so that gave us one of those to take away. A little premix bottle that you just shake up with some ice, which I thought was very nice. Actually gave Zara the, um, there was a Bobbi Brown eyeshadow palette, which she used this morning. She was so happy, bless her. Um, so yeah, that's a, my little gift to her. And a nail varnish, she painted her nails last night. Um, some Waitrose had Heston um, hidden orange chocolate puddings and a neon Christmas spiced candle, which I cannot wait to burn. I was ready to pop the bag away, but then I, I found this voucher. Everyone got a voucher to take away for £20 to go and spend in John Lewis, which I thought was so lovely. So I'm actually going to donate this um, to my local food bank, but um, you can use it in Waitrose as well, so I think that'd be really handy. So I'm going to pay that forward, but I said to Zara it'd be really nice if we could go in to town and just have a look at the Christmas decorations together. So I thought I'd take you guys along as well. That's everything. It's a very rainy day in London, so I need to wrap up before I head out, um, and then I'm going to come back. I actually do need to get some ingredients because I'm going to make some chutney. So um, stay tuned for that. I've never made chutney in my life. <laughs> so it could go disastrously wrong, but I've got all of the bits and bobs needed. So yeah, it's just going to be a really chill, cosy vlog. So let's have a quick slice of toast and head into town. <laughs> Christmas lights are up and they were lit last night, which is so lovely. So this is Oxford Circus and obviously they aren't on because <laughs> it's daytime. But yeah, very busy around here, but the Regent Street Angels are yet to be lit. So you can see it is beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Today is the Royal British Legion Day. Um, where everyone wears poppies, so there's a lot of people around town with um, donation pots and buckets. I'm gonna go and pop some money in to the chap behind us who's just about to play the bagpipes, and then go and meet Zara and John Lewis. There we are, so I've just got my pin, my little poppy 2022. I popped a little pound in the um, donation pot. That's all I had, but every little helps anyway. Off to meet Zara now. This is where I had my event last night in the little Christmas place and Santa was actually in there. But anyway, we're gonna walk through the Christmas floor to the Christmas section. Look at these baubles, gorgeous. Oh my goodness, here we go. Sorry, the bridges get straight involved. <gasps> no, look at, the, oh, that pheasant's cool. I like that. Oh my gosh, Sarah, how much would Maggie really love that? <laughs> It's got a thing for pheasants. Gorgeous though. Oh, and the little, I think these are called gonks, aren't they? Little festive gonks. Mum loves these. Like the Auburn theme, that's very, very cool. Right, should we go on in? Oh, they've got the personalized quality street. Wow, oh my God, this is, I feel like every year it gets bigger and bigger. Oh, I love this table set up. These little leaf plates. How nice them leaf plates, Sara, with the napkins. Oh my god, wow. I'm really sensing the woodland theme this year. This is the chair I was telling you about, you know, the green bobbin chair. It's lovely, isn't it? You're obsessed with these teddy bear things, I swear. Honestly, I want the full size one. That's very cool. How much is that, six pounds? Five. Five. I'm liking this pheasant touch, Sara, it's very cool. It's a nice centerpiece. Quite sparkly. Oh my gosh, look at this little poodle. If they had a Labrador version of that, I would be purchasing it 100%. This is more like the kind of like kitsch style. I've got, oh my god, you've got mail. Like the film we watched, we watched Meg Ryan and um, Tom Hanks, you've got mail, and we loved it. Oh my god, they've even got a little toaster. Candy cane house. Wow, oh my god, these are so cool. A little cafe, ice cream sundae, even got a little kitchen here, stand mixer, and a whisk. You guys, these are a stack of pancakes, eggs and bacon. Oh my gosh, they've really thought of everything. Okay, I strongly urge you come 
to John Lewis because this is this is amazing. Oh my god, they even got waffles. Wow. Donuts. They're quite sweet, aren't they? Little felt donuts. I like them. Toast. Is that avocado on toast? Gato. I would say John Lewis pricing is quite reasonable, like six crackers, and they're quite nice designed for eight pounds, it's not bad going. You fill your own, so you can just do some sweet treats. Because I often find in crackers, they're just not really that great, and you end up throwing them away, so you could do, you could do anything, couldn't you? I had tickets for Peter Andre in one of my ones. That's probably not something you want to share on the internet, love. <laughs> no disrespect to Peter Andre. <laughs> Look at the size of these baubles. Oh my god, they're huge. Wow, nine pounds. Oh, they're sweet. They're very nice. Oh my god, it's very woodland, isn't it? I feel like they've gone for a woodland theme this year. Very nice. I like these filled. They're gorgeous. Cesaris has pointed out if you look up, they've themed everything. So this is the Jolly General store. Hence why it's very red. It's lovely. Then they had Nightlife Santa's Rainbow Workshop over there. This is the community garden, hence why it's very like woodland themed with toadstools and fairies. Oh my god. This is rotating, which is kind of tripping me out a little bit. Wow, we oh, look at these little knitted decorations, aren't they sweet? Little snails. Oh my goodness, guys. A Christmas tree. Oh, they've even got a little caravan. Oh my god, I'm obsessed. This is the nightlife section. Look, they've even got a baby grand piano. Oh my god. It's you in the bathtub, Zara. Stunning. <laughs> the man with a beard. Wow. Little decanters, a whiskey. We've got a set of drums. Oh my goodness. I want to find out how much that piano one is. It's 25 for the piano. Hmm? Oh, maybe we get some stockings. Oh my god, look at this. Oh, maybe that's what we get instead, Zara. Oh, we did! Oh my gosh, how much are they? 25? Well, there we go, we've saved ourselves 25 quid. Although they are very beautifully done. Wow. Yeah, they're actually really easy to make. If you go, you know, foraging, you can just tie the string around the twigs and give them a little sand and spray. These are gorgeous, though. Nice if you're struggling for space and you want a little festive Christmas tree. These giant bears are dotted all over John Lewis. And then the Christmas tree section now, look at these. We go for a real tree, but I think artificial ones are getting so good now. Just look pretty much like the real deal. And they're not quite expensive, but I guess if you bring it out every year, that does look very real. I am a fan of a snow globe. That's very, very cool. This is quite cute. This is... moving to felt tree over Yeah, tree. I love this with the little owl. I would like to stress this time I'm spending my lunch break. Yes. <laughs> oh, this is very nice. Right. Christmas decor has been purchased. I will show you everything we got when we get home. I'm very excited. I'm going to head down to the waitress to get some ingredients for the chutney and then um, yeah, hop back on the tube. If you do come, it's on the third floor and you will see Christmas shop. Head for there. I'm back from town and I thought I'd show you everything that we got. So I just pour myself a big glass of water because the tube was very warm. Anyway, so these are the Christmas bits that we got. I love this owl. I thought the detail was lovely with the feathers. It's absolutely gorgeous. We're going for like a woodland parent. These will go together on the tree. So that was six pounds for the little owl. And then we got this little fox with a jumper on and a scarf. We both just said that was far too cute to go on this. So I think that was... Uh, six pounds as well. So yeah, two new decorations for the hallway tree. I think we're at maximum capacity now. I don't think we can get any more. <laughs> and then this caught Zara's eye, which I just thought was so nice. It's a lovely porcelain. It's kind of a similar um, color to this little egg box that we have. Candle holder, so it's electric, which would be great. If you are in a rental and you, um, or maybe in a room that you're not allowed candles or whatever, but um, yeah, the battery just goes on underneath. There we go, how lovely is that? This was £12, which I think is really good for the fact that it's ceramic, if it was plastic, we probably wouldn't have got it, but I just love that. I think that looks so nice, we're gonna put that in the hallway as well. 
saw Christmas Day. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. And then I just picked up some ingredients in the waitrose. Got some cloves, some mustard seeds, a pepper, lemon, ginger, and some banana schlots for the chutney. Very Christmassy indeed. I'm just like, bring it on now. Honestly, I feel like I need all of the festivities. I'm gonna quickly make some lunch. I'm gonna make some pasta. Um, surprise, surprise. <laughs> Complete change of plan for lunch. I remember I had some of this butternut squash pumpkin pasta in the fridge that needed to eat and I made it for a recipe. So I'm just gonna just it up with a bit more Philadelphia blue cheese and Parmesan. <laughs> a lot of dairy, sorry. Um, yeah, waste not want not. I was gonna go to waste, so I'm gonna heat this up and enjoy it for lunch. Oh, that is coming together beautifully. I'm just gonna sprinkle over some truffle salt just for excess. <laughs> I mean, it's there to be used, so why not? And then I'm gonna dig on in. This is a very generous portion for one. I might not eat all this, but I'll give it a good old go. Lunch is served. That is one generous bowl of pasta. Someone can smell it. I've really been enjoying um, George Clark's Old House New Home on Channel 4. It's quite an old season, but it's really, really good. It's just where he goes to old homes across England and transforms them. So yeah, it's my little guilty pleasure. I'm really enjoying it. Mike is taking in the muse. Okay, so lunch was delicious, and now I'm gonna get cracking on with the chutney. So these were the apples and pears that um, we got from the Airbnb host. So yeah, lovely apples, and the pears from the pear tree, they are really in need of using. So perfect for a chutney. I was gonna stew all of this down, and um, yeah, put them in these little jars. I ordered these off of Amazon. So I'm gonna sterilize them to make sure they're nice and clean. Should be relatively straightforward. Guys, the smell alone from this is enough to convince me that this is gonna be a delicious, delicious chutney. Just need to stir all this to combine and then crack it on the heat for an hour. So, about an hour has passed and the kitchen is smelling very acidic. I think that's the apple cider vinegar definitely cooking off. So, yeah, I'm going to give this a taste and see how it is. But I think we're there. Okay, so I've just popped some boiling hot water in the jars. And I'm going to leave them for a couple of minutes until when they're too hot to the touch. So slightly cooler to the touch, tip them out and then fill them with the chutney. In the meantime, I'm just going to quickly draw around one of those lids and make six greaseproof lids. My auntie is a chutney aficionado and said if, she, if you soak a piece of parchment or greaseproof in a white spirit, it kind of stops the bacteria forming on top of the chutney, so I'm going to do just that. <laughs> And there we are, that is four jars of apple and pear chutney wrapped and ready to go. They are still quite warm, so I'm gonna leave them to chill completely. I've popped the greaseproof lid, soaked in a little bit of spirit on top, so no bacteria should get in. And I googled whether you're supposed to leave it to cool completely, but if you cool it with the lid off, bacteria can grow on the top. So you wanna keep it as sterilized and airtight as possible. So yeah, would've been nice to cut some cloth and put some on top, but I just didn't have any fabric lying around. So um, yeah, very happy with that indeed. And naturally, because the weather does get very cold and very dark, quicker now that we've had the clock score back. It's like four o'clock and it's getting dark, so I am just walk Maggie, because we usually walk her in the morning, but it was torrential downpour this morning. So I'm gonna take her out for a nice little leg stretch now. Right, towel at the ready. I didn't film anything on the walk because it was so dark. <laughs> you might not even be able to see Maggie. Can you drop your ball please? Thank you. So we need to give you a towel dry because you are very muddy. I didn't manage to film a single thing because it was just pitch black and you would have just saw nothing but this little one running around. Sarah said I have to show you this trick what Maggie does. Four, four. Good girl. Wait, Maggie. <gasps> I would argue. Wait, I've just dropped it, wait a minute. No, no, wait. You're trying to hold a blueberry no, on her paw. No, Go on then. Well done. <laughs> so we're just preparing dinner. We're gonna have a glass of this lovely wine. It's the Alamos uh, 2021 Chardonnay, which I'm not really big on Chardonnay. However, I've had this one before, it's really good. Got some fresh chopped parsley and poppadoms. I'm toasting the brioche buns in the toaster. Leftover right, uh, shredded iceberg lettuce and some chili jam. This chili jam is bloody good, really, really good. I might have a stab at making my own one day, who knows. Um, and then in the air fryer, we've just got some spicy gunpowder potatoes just roasting up, and then I'm gonna pop the um, bargy burgers in just to crisp up, and that's it, dinner's served.
Dinner is served. In hindsight, there's only two of us and I've made three burgers with a side of potatoes, but I'm hungry. Here we go. Dinner is served. So we just finished up dinner and we're gonna watch some TV. What's some things that we've watched recently that we've really enjoyed? We've watched, yeah, The Watcher on Netflix. That was really good. Uh, we watched the one about the ex the ex wife, and he just said the one about the ex wife. It was called the ex wife on Paramount Plus. That was really good. Uh, we're about to start the Inside Man. It was on BBC, but apparently it's coming to Netflix with uh, Stanley Tucci and David Tennant. Um, that was fantastic. Actually, really enjoyed that. Yeah, we've watched some good stuff recently. To be fair, and we're just gonna have a bit of leftover birthday cake. Wait, have we got any birthday cake left? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of leftover birthday cake for pudding. And I might make hot chocolate, why not? Would you like no, hot chocolate it's too? It's actually, we've got, oh, there's two things. We've got the Magic Stars hot chocolate. Yes, that was from um, Cherries. And before I knew we were going to Bath, I said, when I go to Bath. Oh, you wanted a Mrs. Potts I hot chocolate. I want to buy the Mrs. Potts hot chocolate. I'm it. now back in London and I don't have it. Yeah, we forgot to get that. Um, Mrs. Potts hot chocolate looks very good. Maybe next time. There will I be a next we time. we should just order it. Yeah, you can order it online. I'll link it down below. If you've never been to Bath, Mrs. Potts do the best chocolate stuff ever, ever. And they do nice gift sets. Anyway, um, I'm going to wrap up this vlog. I'm going to leave you with a cute shot of Maggie. Look at her all tucked in her little ears. Oh, darling. Yeah, I'll catch you all very soon. Thank you for watching. Lots of love. I hope you're feeling festive. I'll catch you all very soon. Bye for now.